Now to Fair Park then, and the match between two clubs whose ambitions this season have been largely thwarted by their continuing injury problems. Motherwell had won only twice in 15 games before today, and they have struggled desperately to find the back of the opposition net. Hibbs' early season form hinted at a championship challenge, but they too have faded recently. Yet on their day, they're certainly two of the country's better sides. Jock Brown watched them this afternoon. The bad news for Motherwell is a hamstring injury sustained in training by Brian Martin, so he's out. But Sean McSkimming returns after a nine-match absence. That leaves two very young centre-backs, Richie and Denham, protected by 36-year-old Miodraj Krivokopic, and a somewhat left-sided bias in the team with McKinnon, McSkimming and Roddy, natural left-flank players. There's still no Kevin Harper for Hibbs, but they welcome... McGinley and Keith Wright after injury in a side which lends itself to a number of tactical formations, principally because of the versatility of Andy Millen and Darren Jackson. Dodds, Tweed and Hunter will be the bulwark in defence, with McGinley and O'Neill key men in midfield, and Darren Jackson likely to provide support through the middle for Keith Wright. 19-year-old Greg Denham starts a first-team match for only the third time. Glasgow-born, he was recruited from Cumberland United two years ago, an elegant left-sided defender. Keith Wright returns after a three-match injury absence, having scored in three of his previous four matches in which he showed outstanding form. He'll be a major headache to the new Motherwell Central Defence this afternoon. Referee in his final season as a Grade 1 official, Louis Thau Prestwick. A crucial match for both sides. Mark O'Neill breaking out in the centre circle. They're running straight to Mirai Krivavich. Both or done the players clashing there. But Motherwell coming into this match of four straight draws, which followed two defeats, in which they've only scored two single goals, four blanks, which will be a concern to Alec McLeish, the manager. Hibs have had defeats in the last four matches despite being in position in the league. So both sides anxious to get right back in the rails. Here's Mike Lonnie. Challenge there by Jamie Dolan. Three kicks been good. But O'Neill has already shown his best to here to Motherwell early in the match. So Louis Thau taking charge there quickly on the scene. Hibs have thrown the forward. Tweet in the area. Chris Jackson. Well, obvious part of this, but was sticking in from Jackson. Good effort by Wright. He's still scored Harry off his arm. Try the chip shot, but the young keeper is very well indeed. Hard to chip. The pass that came from Michael O'Neill. You can see Keith Wright ten. trying to come forward oh, now it's gone for a throw to Motherwell with Rob McKinnon wants it quickly here's Dewey on it and McKinnon oh, turning into trouble Lamp picks it up Skimming run by Arnott back with the sides again pass back 
Malik Bond on the way. Malik Dinley. That's very good forceful play by Pat. He was caught there by Bonds, and Bonds will be in trouble. He was clearly concerned about run being made by Pat McGinley and brought it to a premature end. The other card for Alec Bonds, I don't have any complaints here because he cut his nose very well indeed. And you see that late attempt to pull him down. They promise him for Hibbs. So what can Hibbs do with this? Very close to Harry, that's a very good catch. Replaced by Keith Roberts. Now he didn't shoot that one little bit. The apologies of the free kick has been given. That was a very well appointed free kick against by Michael O'Neill. But Scott Harvey did seem to be in charge all the time. And Wright's challenge again was necessary. The best chance of the child there. Started a few moments ago. Then a loose pass towards Gordon Hunter put him in trouble with Andy Roy pressing in. And that was an outstanding save. To Roddy. This is Jackson. Into space for Keith Wright. This is played by Hibbs. Very close to Keith Wright. Put him under pressure. The ball on the end was not really trouble. But I bet you Keith Wright wanted this in his left foot. Richie did well though. This is Michael O'Neill, and now McGinley. Well, that's good play. Looking much more like himself again this afternoon. Sweep towards Jackson. Good dummy. This is a callous hurry. Surviving in a pure handball. It didn't matter in the end. A very good dummy by Dan Jack. Gave the opportunity for the ball to reach Kevin McAllister. It was off balance. Darren Jackson playing right through the middle for Hibbs. This is Lambert. Makes space himself so effectively. Dick Skimming takes over. Now McKinnon. Inside is Roddy. That's McKinnon again. And another good ball into the box. On the arm and Bonds in there, and neither could get on the end of that. Excellent ball from Rob McKinnon. Lambert again. Roddy's headed on net by Tweet. Dolan again, linking with Bonds. This is Arnott. Oh, he's done well. And Tom behind. It was Jamie Dolan who scored forward. That's very good positive midfield play by Dolan. Supporting this bit of play by Dougie Arnott. Now this was positive too, making him the ball and inviting a rash tackle which didn't arrive. And Dolan gave him to that. Krivakovic. Denham. Lambert again roaming to good effect but running straight into Andy Millen. McAllister. That's for Millen, a good pass. Jackson. Back to O'Neill. Very close indeed. Excellent build up play. Right hand. Michael O'Neill comes very close to the this ball of the season. Here was Kevin Cousin. Quality of the for Andy Millen here. That was beautiful. Played and it went fast by Millen, controlled by Darren Jackson, composed the shot by Michael Hill, and he then pulled the shot right. Here's Jackson. Good play McGinley. Picks out Millen very effectively also. Contribution important before the ball reached Rob McKinnon here. That's an excellent cross. And Alec getting the volley first time. Keep it down. Walking hard 
Mr. Henry. Taken into the play by Hunter. Set piece. Henry got to the ball first, that should cause the problem, but he was hurting Hunter early, so no damage done. It's McKinnon. But just off target. Well, it was like the side of Jackson to bring him get close to. So this may well be the last kick of the first half. It is. The sides remain even. That's about in the balance of the first half play. Clayton has pulled one miraculous save from Dougie Arnott. But at the other end, Michael O'Neill had a great chance when he pulled the ball wide from 10 yards over the piece. Honors just about even. It's Motherwell nil. These sides were very evenly matched throughout last season. They both did extremely well to top the front of the division. Were three draws in the game. One win for Hibbs, 2 0 at the Eastern Road in March. Otherwise, it was 0 0, 1 1, 2 2. So, on this occasion, equally evenly matched so far. And there's Pat McGinley sending in a dangerous ball. Awkward one for the Motherwell defence, and Michael didn't realise just possibilities there. Master again doing well, he's looked very sprightly this afternoon and that's well driven by him again, you can see it caught Michael O'Neill by surprise. This is Kevin McAllister. O'Neill. Just been right, that's what brought the chance. From Keith Wright, so often the man who passed up with important it was right the first time. Mart, Millen did well, the danger idiot this time. Keith Wright found space for the header. Next <laughs> to up the line, there's nothing there, it's Greg Denham. Now McGinley. Jackson, good play. Looking better and better now suddenly, and a very good on the run there by Keith Wright. Hibbs now looking very messing indeed. Well, this is ominous now, Motherwell, the way they're being carved up so easily suddenly. It was excellent play though, good passing here. McGinley, Callister, Darren Jackson, a great reverse pass, but Andy Miller's interesting run. And triple cross for Keith for the challenge on Keith by Greg Denham. And he's fit here, and he's capable of passing by the foot. That's a good ball. Dangerous one, and jumped over the top. Dan Dodds, so close to goal number two. This really is a terrific free kick played in by Michael O'Neill's foot there. And the challenge so well to Alan Dodd. Scott Howey was certainly in trouble. You see how Scott Howey there on the goal line was struggling as that ball was headed toward the top corner. I don't think he'd have got there. McKinnon. Back with Krivokopic. Skimming, losing out there to Darren Jackson. A good recovery tackle though. Roddy. That's a great chip by Roddy. A great idea. Well, it was a kind of imagination required to beat Jim Leighton. And tight circumstances, a very difficult chip to execute. 
Lambert looking for Denham. McKinnon. Body. Denham to Krivakovic. Always willing to take possession. No matter how much pressure they might be under. This is Barnes. Krivakovic in the angle for him. Doesn't play again. Now McKinnon. Again. McAllister back to defend, forcing him inside. That's Barnes, looking for Henry, losing to the physique and strength of Dodge in the air. Here's Ritchie. Lambert. Henry's ball forward, that's on it. No, Lambert again. That was much better play for Motherwell. Jim Leighton did very well with the ball played in, but this time the Hibs defence couldn't cope with the movement and the passing from Motherwell. This is like the Motherwell of old. Lambert coming inside, playing the pass, looking for the return from Henry. Dugiana helps it on his way to Lambert, just too close to Leighton. So off goes Andy Roddy. And on comes the very experienced figure of Billy Davis. So he goes into central midfield. I think Sean McSkimming will step for the left now. That's McSkimming. It's back now with Denham. Good header on by Henry. He is on Tackled very well by Tweeter. Breaks for Henry again. The chance of the second half for Motherwell, no question. John Henry holds his head. Well, the long ball caused the problem. Henry initially challenging well to get a head flick on. There's Arnott. Arnott then spinning there, running right into Tweed. The break of the ball helped on there by Arnott. Straight to Henry. He should really have hit the target. Well, Dougie Arnott did so well to get a touch on there for Henry. His anxiety was apparent. He's only scored twice, both in the same game for Motherwell. Great layoff there by Arnott. Here's Davis. Barnes and White on the right. Attacking Dodds. And both players slip, but still Barnes in possession. There's Henry, well tackled by Hunter. McKinnon. And they try again here. Good chest control. Mike Skimming takes a touch, looking for the cross. Well, he has to get that beyond Chris Jackson. The manager, well, he did win a corner kick. Every Hibs player inside the penalty box to defend here. No exceptions. Skimming shot to Lambert. Another away was by McGinley. Straight to Davis. McKinnon. The angle ball helped on there by Denham. That's Bonds. Frustration for the Motherwell supporters. And surely a lack of confidence and conviction in front of goal shown by Motherwell. The recent ropey style of four is catching up now. Alec McLeish clearly concerned. She got to that, but couldn't direct the header the way he wanted, so it is a throw to Hibbs. Pressure building up from Motherwell would have to be very alert, though, because Hibbs are lethal on the counter attack. So much pace up. Michael holding off that shot. It's a good ball in there's Keith Wright! The second for Hibbs! But surely the clinching goal! The Hibs supporters celebrate, and yet again, Hibs showing their menace on the break. That really was excellent play, Dan and Dodds with the pass, look at the way Michael O'Neill held off Krivokovic, and then picked out this pass to Keith Wright, who's so deadly in that position. Still in the defenders, not good enough marking, but excellent play from Hibs nevertheless, and Michael O'Neill delivers a superb cross. Keith Wright can't believe the space he has, but Hibs are two in front. 
Well, there is the Motherwell normal central defence. Martin Philippin and McCart could all be out there in central defence. And Eels lay off. Played forward there by Millen, and Jackson is on side. Needs some support in the box. It's late in arriving. And Richie knew exactly what he was about there. That's good defending by young Richie. Now Arnott. He's turned away from Tweed, who's fallen over there. Now it goes to Henry. In the middle is McSkimming. And once again, it's Jim Leighton into the rescue of Hibbs. McSkimming can't believe that. The smile on the face of Leighton. He knows the luck was with him there. Dougie Arnott's pass. Henry laid that on a plate for McSkimming, and Jim Leighton didn't know much about that. Good goalkeepers require some good fortune. Lambert. And Leighton is in trouble there. Billy Davis going for the spectacular finish. So no luck again for Motherwell. And Leighton certainly was in trouble. Keith Wright had to get his head to that. And then the first time volley sailing over the top. Yeah. Headed by Richie again. It's beyond Tweed. In goes on at this time. A chance surely this time, but Leighton saves again. Oh, what a last line of defence he is. So Jim Leighton with the goal kick will bring the match to an end. The match which has been won very handsomely in the end by a sparkling second half performance he started off with a little bit of an edge after the interval and Keith Wright then coped with a bit of a motherwell onslaught before snatching the second it's been good all the way and when motherwell have good forward Jim Layton has been magnificent now motherwell have a corner could be the last chance for a consolation it could only be that I think with a minute of injury time gone Here's Rob Kinnan. Given away. And it is indeed the last attempt by Motherwell. The Motherwell supporters very unhappy indeed. There's some booing around the stadium, but Hibs certainly showed why they are so far up the Premier Division. They can be something of a Jekyll and Hyde side, but this afternoon, especially in the second half, they were very efficient indeed. And of course, up front, they had Keith Wright, who scored with two excellent headers, one in 52 minutes, one in 77 minutes and when Motherwell did press forward Jim Layton was a hero in goal for Hibs once again Hibs deserve winners it's Motherwell nil, Hibernian 2 overall it's a case of missed chances for us you know and we're making chances which I suppose is pleasing we're not taking them and that's very depressing it's five games out of seven I think in which you haven't scored only a singles in each of the others and you've moved all the strikers around what more can you do? well save bringing in yeah, somebody like Savicevic uh, from Milan. We sell the club. Um, <laughs> there's there's not a lot we can do. There's not a lot of money to spend, and certainly in bringing in a, a quality striker. Tommy Coyne's been a long-term casualty. You know, Dougie Arnott and Ali Burns, to be fair to them, are beavering away. John Henry's come in today. His movement was quite good. He'll probably take a bit of criticism because he missed a chance. But he's up there to be shot down and he's, he's just got to get his, his head down and keep working hard and he'll get his chance. Is it your belief, Alec, this is simply a bad spell for Motherwell from which you can come back? Well, of course, uh, I've never been a quitter jock and I'll keep believing that we're, we're better than we've been shown recently and we just need a wee break to turn the corner. We didn't get it today when Dougie had the great chance in the first half. Jim Layton's made a tremendous save and these, these wee things are making all the difference at the moment. Motherwell are really good in midfield, they're keeping the ball well. Uh, we expected that today, but uh, we can hit teams on the break, and we've done that, we've played really well. Uh, we've had two or three chances, and we've managed to take two of them. From your point of view, you've had different partners this season, you've had Kevin Harper, you've had Gareth Evans, and Darren Jackson today. Does it make a big difference to you who's with you? Uh, not really, no, I've got my, my same role. I just do my role, getting in behind the fences, and either Darren or Gareth or Rick Kevin will, will play come short. So I'm, I don't change my role, and it's uh, the silver player for me, as long as we can get the goals. Keith's a goal scorer. And he's got a good record against Motherwell. And Darren worked very hard and took the ball in. Darren can take the ball in well for us. And, and he started moves and, and enabled Keith to go on the end of him. 
you had also some inspiration occasionally in goal from uh, Jim Leighton. Is there more to be said about him, do you think? Ah, his, his consistency level is fantastic and for any young pro coming into the game, that's the man they should look at.